Hey, what's up, YouTube? Doing a quick filter review here. This is the uh, I used one. Uh, I'll probably pick up a new one on uh, Amazon too, just to um, show you what they look like. Looks like a pretty decent filter. Uh, it's by Filtop, P H I L T O P. Um, this particular filter part number written on here is E O F 001. Um, I'll put in the description the Amazon information for it. Um, but this is for a Nissan Altima. And uh, a, I had it on a 2011, but I'm sure it works on several other models. Uh, it doesn't look like a terrible filter. Um, has your standard uh, rubber drain back valve as well as your uh, rubber gasket. It doesn't have like the uh, more advanced uh, silicone ones that more expensive filters have. Um, so this is it here. I'm going to cut it open and just take a look inside here and then uh, I'll give you a quick overview of what it looks like here. Hey, what's up guys? Picking up where we left off here. Just doing a quick filter review here. Um, just want to start off by saying I'm not like a oil filter expert by any means or anything of that nature. This is more for entertainment purposes, fill some curiosity out there. Um, I've always had a lot of curiosity about oil filters and uh, how they hold up and um, I may pick up a new one like I was saying in a previous clip off Amazon just to dissect it and show you what it looks like when it's new. Uh, this is a 3,000 mile oil filter um, as in that's how long I used it. You Apparently according to the Amazon you can go longer on these um, as far as mileage wise depending on what you know type of oil either synthetic or high mileage or just conventional you can these filters supposedly can go pretty high on mileage, uh, which just from dissecting in here, which crudely I did using a sawzall because I don't have one of those oil filter cutters. Uh, this just kind of shows you what these fill top Amazon filters look like here. Uh, as far as the outer casing goes, it seems like it's made pretty thick. I mean, I had a heck of a time cutting through this. Um, you know, it's a little bent up from being in a vice, but if you look in there, there's a lot of particles, but I think those are metal shavings for me cutting it open. Um, the uh, bypass valve is plastic here. It looks like it's made very well. Uh, metal end caps, which is a really good feature. I don't like filters like those frames that use those stupid um, cardboard ones. But if you look at the pleats on this filter, you know, this is 3,000 miles. They're all still very stout. And if, look at that. Look how nice that's put together. You know, I mean, if you look at those pleats, I mean, I've had some high-end filters. The pleats are just a disaster, and there's big gaps and spaces. You know, the only real space I see is uh, this one right here, which is where it's constructed and put together, which is kind of not preventable, you know, when you're building it. it has the um, spring in there. I don't know if that's showing up or not for the bypass valve. I like the spring. Uh, that's a uh, nice feature, the way that's set up in there. Also has metal mesh on the inside. I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but there's uh, a metal mesh background. Um, also want to mention what holds the filter together is a spring, which I like the coil springs. I don't like those stamped metal um, pieces. I mean, they clearly work. I've never had an oil filter of any kind actually fail on me. Keep in mind, I change my oil regularly too, which has a huge contribution to why my oil filters do last. Um, but I like the, you know, I like the spring. That's 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 good. I don't like that stamped metal garbage. So that's quality. Um, I think this is just a general synthetic paper material. I don't think it's anything fancy. It's not one of those um, fancy, uh, long, extended life types of papers where they use like the fiberglass, like they do in a purple one. I believe I read this just like a paper uh, filter. Um, and then this is your classic rubber o-ring which this sits on top of the filter like so to seal it off against the engine uh, or the oil cooler um, just your classic one nothing you know it's not made of any kind of um, silicone material like some of the higher end filters are your anti drain back valve it's also just your regular rubber a little thin um, feels a little hard which I don't know if that's normal or not but that goes basically like so on the back of the filter and what this does is this flaps this rubber and it prevents the oil from draining back into the filter 
uh, and also holds oil in the filter too. So when you go to start your engine, uh, the oil hasn't leaked back or passed back into the filter or leaked down and then you get a dry start. So this is the um, drain back valve, this little rubber guy. Uh, like I said, some of the higher end filters, they use that, uh, it's like a reddish pink color or maybe even orange. And the difference is, is it's just simply a better rubber. Uh, it's made a little bit more uh, capable of holding higher and lower temperatures. A um, little chunk of something came off there. That could have been from the saw. Um, as far as the holes go, there's one, two, three, six holes. Like I said, I'm not going to get into measuring them, but they look pretty decent and wide. It's very heavy. has uh, pretty deep uh, threads there, too, if you see that. I didn't count them, but uh, maybe one... Looks like four, maybe four and a half sets of threads, which is pretty decent for a filter. You know, some of those cheap AC Delco filters they sell now, they have like three threads and they, you know, and this is made out of a real thin material. It feels like it's gonna break apart whenever you go to tighten it down. So, um, but this is, like I said, this is the outer canister. I'll just quickly put it back together here for you. So you got your canister, put your little spring down in there. You got your filter material. That spring gives it upward tension to keep it tight. Your uh, drain back valve, which sits on there like so. The top of the filter goes on there, and then your O-ring. So, like I said, not bad. The only complaint I have about the filter, I mean, it held up for 3,000 miles. I didn't go any further than that, because like I uh, may have mentioned before, it's getting colder out, and I want to get the oil change done on my vehicle before the temperature drops. Uh, this is uh, first day of November and in addition to that like I don't have a garage to really work in so and I don't like taking my car to get it serviced I do all my own service so with that said I just went ahead and changed it but uh, I figured somebody might be interested in this you know um, I always watch uh, oil filter dissection videos and I love them it gives you a lot of great information you know about the filter helps you make a more educated decision on what you're buying um, but if you're interested in these um, Check out Amazon. Like I said, see if your application, they make it for it. It's uh, made by Philtop, P-H-I-L-T-O-P. Uh, it doesn't look like a bad filter, you know. Um, would I use it again? Absolutely. Um, the only, like I said, complaint I have is the drain back valve. I wish they'd used a, um, a silicone one. And uh, the one complaint I have is on cold starts, I noticed I got a little bit more of a lower engine uh, noise until the oil circulates and I noticed that more with this filter than any other filter so it seems like the drain back valve may not be quite doing its job as well as some of the other higher end filters um, which causes for that cold noisy startup but other than that I have zero complaints I would use one of these again clearly the pleats are very nice I mean I'm very impressed with that metal end caps nice spring on the drain back valve spring on the bottom so you don't have that pleated metal and uh, a nice thick, you know, outer casing. So I'm sure eventually, when somebody catches on to these uh, filters out there, that hopefully some of the guys that do those dissections and they actually use like a caliper and and uh, measure the thickness and everything, and they count the pleats. Um, hopefully somebody gets on that out there. Uh, frankly, I don't have the time or the equipment to do that, and they can give you more exact uh, mathematical and scientific. Um, evidence as far as the quality goes of this particular filter but just like a rough quick video i'd use it again so if any of you guys are thinking of getting these fill top filters from amazon i'm not paid i'm not sponsored by them in any way just uh thought i'd try it and share my experience uh since i didn't see any other youtube videos out there talking about these things so i hope you enjoy you know please uh rate comment and subscribe and um you know start a discussion guys what kind of oil filters do you use what kind of oil do you use um let me know what your feedback is. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.